ஹரே கிருஷ்ணா த நெக்ஸ்ட் வைஷ்ணவ குவாலிட்டி இஸ் நிதோஷ நிர்தோஷ இட் மீன்ஸ் பீங் ஃபால்ட்லெஸ் ஸோ நாவ் த கொஸ்டன் கம்ஸ் ஹவு கேன் எனி ஒன் இன் திஸ் வேர்ல்ட் பி ஃபால்ட்லெஸ் ஹவு இஸ் இட் பாசிபிள் பட் வெரி கிளியர்லி அவர் சாஸ்திர சே த தேட் டிவோட்டி ஹூ சரண்டர்ட் at the level of his body at the level of his mind and his speech kaya manasa and vacha when all the three are engaged in service of the lord and that devotee is all the time doing two, two things executing krishna's will and second he speaks about krishna and how does he speaks about krishna by repeating krishna's own words or the pure devotee's words so in this way a devotee is perfect he is faultless therefore a surrendered devotee is considered to be faultless now it's a very important thing that we all can contemplate on how much surrendered am i onto the lotus feet of krishna that will decide how much faultless we are because this faultlessness is on the spiritual platform okay externally there might be some material faults like for example when ganga is flowing okay there might be some bubbles there might be some muddiness and all that but finally that dirt is on a material platform even when people see all that still they take bath in ganga because they know very well that the waters of ganga are transcendental all this mud and other things is not going to make a difference similarly a devotee who is acting on the spiritual platform by being surrendered to krishna all the time at the level of kaya vacha and manasa or that devotee is considered to be faultless now say since a person a devotee is there in this material world very dirty world and because of the dirtiness around say that dirt affects him and he falls from his position and does some abominable activity still if he is continuing to practice his bhakti with one pointed focus towards lord shri krishna that person should be still considered as a devotee why it is very soon very soon he'll get completely purified shipram bhavati dharmaatma shashvat shantim nigachati kaunte apati jani hi maname bhakta pranashyati my devotee will never perish even if he has committed something wrong that devotee of mine will get surely purified because he is continuously rendering devotional service on to me so this is a very important point but by the way this we shouldn't apply to ourselves saying i am faultless this is when we look at other devotees it's for them okay see all of them are faultless so now if i want to be on the faultless platform what am i supposed to do i'm supposed to move to spiritual platform and remain on the spiritual platform all the time 24 by 7 shila prabhupad senapati bhakta of lord shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu externally seen maybe a materialist might find some faults in prabhupad and prabhupad's books for that matter in fact when the first edition of prabhupad's books came out there were many technical errors in that some spelling mistakes some grammatical mistake and so on but still even after all those faults it was faultless and what is the proof reading those books many 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 people became devotees this is prabhupada's faultlessness this is prabhupada's books faultlessness therefore a devotee is always faultless because he is completely surrendered to krishna therefore if we have to come to this platform of being faultless we have to surrender onto the lotus feet of the lord and this will happen when we'll advance in krishna consciousness and to advance in krishna consciousness we have to go deep in our chanting when we chant hare krishna we have to hear the holy names very clearly more we go deep in our chanting more we advance in bhakti and more all these vaishnava qualities will manifest so let's pray to the lord for his help so that we can advance in bhakti by going deep in chanting hare krishna